Hello and welcome to my Fallout 4 settlement building guide. Uh, there are areas in Fallout 4, I'm not going to go into details where they are, not to spread any spoilers. And those areas have a red workshop. Uh, with that workshop, once it's unlocked, you can activate it and you see that green border, that's the border of the area you can play with. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to scrap all those yellow parts because that's all junk, that's all garbage that I can use the scrap to work with and rebuild the area. So I'm going to clean up the whole area of my newly found settlement here. You can also, well yellow is, is garbage or scrap and green is things you can still use. So I'm gonna scrap that fence. And there's various um, kinds of ways you can get settlements in this game. You, most of the times you have to do a quest or a mission and then uh, yeah, you get, you get the allowance from the settlers to be their master builder, to be the boss, basically. So you get an allied tag and you can use the workshop. Uh, there are areas that turn into settlements because there's a hidden workshop somewhere and, and you have to find it again with a quest. And while I'm cleaning up this area here, uh, I'll tell you about that. Uh, you can clean up uh, trees, you can clean up tires, and they will produce a different kind of ingredient or scrap building material. In some areas, that's really, really cool. You can um, scrap old houses, you can scrap cars, old cars, and, and I, I find it really cool. So. I'm going to finish this here just to show you how you can clean up and that's basically the first thing you should do when you get a new settlement. Clean up the area so you have the building materials that you need to do other things. So once I'm done here I'm going to move to another settlement that is already clean but it doesn't have people in it. This one is a bit of a weird one, this current settlement. It already has people, but they're actually robots. They don't need beds. They don't really need food. And they still have water. Uh, I assume you can transfer food later on in the game, but that's just an assumption uh, because it doesn't really make sense to produce food here with the robots and you can't transfer it to human beings. It's a bit of a weird one. So, oh, as I said, I'm going to move over to the other settlement now and see what's going on there. So here I am in the other settlement. No settlers here. I had to move them out or they disappeared or I had to chase them out. It was basically a mission decision from my side that they didn't like me anymore. And here I already have a generator in place. And I'm gonna show you but that's the only thing I have in place really there's some food growing there's some water pumps and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that so if you get your when you get your first settlement um, you're asked to build beds I'm gonna show you how to do that now there's already nine beds in this settlement and everything that's green you can move you can scrap everything that's yellow you can you can scrap you can't move that around but here you have plenty of things and I'm going to choose on the furniture beds, I'm going to choose a bed and you can turn it around with L2, R2 and place it as you like it and then hit X on PlayStation 4 and the bed is there and you see already now I have 10 beds that can be used by settlers. So next thing you sh need to do or should do is build a water source 
if it doesn't have any or if, if there isn't enough. And it's the same here, you have uh, water pumps, that is the quick and dirty version. If you have a lake, you can build a big pump. And I'm going to show you what there is. There is that water pump, produces three water. And you have to place it on dirt, so you need to find a, a green dirt patch somewhere to place it. There it is. Yeah, I'm not going to place it now. Six water is enough for now. I'm going to cancel that. And there's... Uh, now we go over to that generator because that's, that's next that you have to do to build up your settlement. Um, build a generator on the gener power generators and yeah, place it somewhere where it's green again. And then you go over and build a recruitment radio beacon. I don't have enough copper, so I'll quickly go and buy some ingredients and then I'm back. So I'm back in my village. I found some junk that has copper in it. That's the nice thing compared to Skyrim. I always collected junk all over the place, but I couldn't really use it. But here, every piece of junk produces materials to build. So I'm going to feed that workshop with all my junk. Uh, now I should have enough copper to build that beacon. I'm activating the workshop. And here I have recruitment radio beacon and I can build it next to the generator. Here it is. And now all I have to do is connect the beacon to the generator. Oh, so you see the triangle attached to wire. And now it doesn't work because that bloody pole is in the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I have to move either the antenna or the generator. I'm going to move the generator a bit forward. I'm going to use the triangle again, attach the wire to the beacon. And now I can exit workshop mode and activate the beacon. Make sure it is on red lamp and it's active. So what I need to do now is either wait or sleep. There it is. for some settlers to come and find me, find that village. So I go to sleep for an hour and see what's going on then. Well, woke up, an hour has passed and what's going on? Oh, I can see someone already. Entering workshop mode and you see people want. So one person moved in. One person thought it's a good idea to be here and she's already producing food. So she came in, saw that there's no food around and she took the initiative and worked on the food field. But now what happens when I have another task to do? I mean, there's plenty of other things you can install that needs people, for example, um, defending posts where you need two people standing there you have here resources gathering, you have a scavenging station that produces junk or material to, to build. So I'm going to place that here in the corner somewhere and assign her to this workstation so I can show you how to do that. You can also move settlers around. In You have to be in the workshop menu to do so. You see that square move you can move her to other settlements or you can just command her to do something else which i'm going to do now so i clicked her and i see go here the x and here i can assign her so so now i assigned her and she quits producing food food went to zero and she's going over to the scavenging station and starts her work there's not many people moved in here. I assume, again, the more you advance in gameplay with the main quests, the more people will move in because it just collects the, the settlers from around the village. So I'm going to assign her back to food now. So the settlers around the village are called into, into that settlement and then they're just going to stay there. 
because I had one case where I went to a location and there was a settler there that moved in later on. So now I played uh, a turret that's attacking the other turrets because the people of that settlement didn't like me much. Uh, so I placed a turret and one turret is really enough to, to cover that defense need 0 to 5 in the beginning. So you don't need to build walls or anything in the beginning, you just place a turret and that's fine. Walls are good later on when there's more people and, and when, when, when the village or the settlement is attacked more frequently. But to start with, just put a, tur a turret there and it should be fine. So I repaired it and now it's working again, not attacking the, the others that are still around. Still some turrets unfriendlies around. They're not attacking me, but they will attack other defense mechanisms in place. So what else is there? Let's go through the menus so I can show you what there is. So structures, you can build structures like houses from wood and steel, prefabricated sheds. You can basically place it everywhere you have room and your settlers have a roof over their heads. Uh, you can build flooring if you want to build a house from scratch walls, roofs, stairs even bridges if you want to build high up so if, if you're a builder at heart that's what you can do and if you're not you basically place a prefabricated structure and people have a roof maybe they're not as happy as they should be but they at least have a roof where they can sleep and where they are protected there are fences, like junk fences, that you can build around the village, so people are safe. Furniture, you have beds, you have chairs, you have containers, you have shelves, you have tables, you, know, you have bathtubs. You have a bobblehead stand for all those bobbleheads you collect. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, you have a lot of television, I'm not sure if I'm going to use that, and toilets. Decorations, you have carpets, floor mats, various floor mats. And I just figured out last night that, well, you know you can collect magazines, you always could collect magazines in Fallout games where you can enhance your abilities. And in this game you also have magazines to get new pl blueprints for, uh, for the village. I picked up a blueprint for a new carpet. So uh, that's pretty cool actually. So you're not limited to those. I don't know how many there are, but uh, well, I just put a wall decoration on, mounted my uh, claw. And I don't know how many blueprints there are you can collect, but I'm sure we'll find out. Well, there's plenty of paintings. I have to turn around to see it. It's nice, nice paintings you can put up on walls. So people are happier in their village. Uh, some signs as well. I'm actually tempted to put a plumbing sign on a toilet door. <laughs> um. Oh, basketball. Well, I don't have a ball. Well, there are balls around. Uh, I scrapped a ball the other day. You, can, you can't build it weird enough. You can't build a ball, but you can scrap it. So if you see a ball, don't throw it away. Uh, let me know if you can play basketball with it. Unfortunately, it's already part of my rubber collection. Uh, here we have some more decorative items. We have um, ashtray. We have another Cigarette machine, crib, doghouse. So quite a lot of things you can put here. The radio, big sign, trash can, jukebox. Jukebox would be nice. Power, been there briefly. Uh, we have lots of different generators. I don't have the ingredients for those big generators and pylons when you have to transport the power you have to do that when you buy build a bigger water pump 
because the bigger water pumps need to be placed in the water so you need pylons and you connect the pylons with the wire like we did with the beacon and the generator before so lots of laser trip wire lots of things to defend your village as well some lights so you can lighten up or brighten up a mirror ball your village And here we have terminals, so I'm still starting kind of in the beginning of the game and see what what I need those for. You have the guard post, you have to man it with people, so it produces defense. Turrets, spotlight turrets, so there's a spotlight going around and when it sees a, an enemy at night, um, it defends it defends the village at night and also defense traps so you can do quite a lot of things to defend your village here your settlement uh, resources water is the big water pump that you have to place in the water and connect it with power food you can grow every food you find in the wilderness For example razor grain and there's other resources like here's the scavenging station or a Brahmin feed bathtub. And here's a bell where you can gather people around the bell and the siren. And a fast travel target, which is cool. You can you can set where you actually um, appear when you fast travel. There's quite a lot of stores that I can't install yet. I guess I have to advance in the story or in the game to do so. So you can place a store in the village and it generates money based on population. Which is quite cool. So there's different kinds of shops, different sizes of shops. You have the stand, you have the shop and you have the emporium. I'm looking forward to that actually. Hopefully I can sell all my junk there as well and my weapons that I don't need. Clinic and clothing. And the last thing you can build crafting stations. There's a bigger armor workstation, chemistry station. It's two different kinds, a small one and a big one. Cooking station. Power armor station, weapon workbench, and that's it. So, I hope this was helpful, and I hope you enjoy the game as much as I do. And I say bye!